Have you ever thought of an app that you wanted to bring to life and turn it into a source of income? This is what coding the right way can unlock. However, most beginners fall into a trap. They spend months on random tutorials and never actually build something. Why is that? Whether it's a self-belief problem or they simply don't know where to start, if your goal is to build apps that provide value and earn money, then you don't need to learn the entirety of a language or a framework to achieve this. You simply need to know how to effectively code and begin compounding your efforts the right way. In this video, I'll provide you with an efficient roadmap for coding your first app, accepting payments from users and building a high converting website so you can secure your first customers. This will be a super concise and straightforward plan that anyone can follow even if you're starting from scratch with zero coding experience. Before we get into the plan, we need to discuss an important element to ensuring success with this, your mindset. You need to frame yourself as a problem solver, not just a programmer. You do not need to know the entire syntax of a language or know how to use the fanciest new framework. You simply need to understand a real problem you can solve for a group of people. This is fundamentally true in all aspects of life, people will pay you good money if you can save them time, make them money, or resolve a pain point. If you can solve any of these problems, you will become a problem solver who makes good money as opposed to just a programmer coding things that will never be successful. You need to set clear goals if you want to succeed at making money with an app. The way you should set a goal when building an app is focusing on the problem you're solving, the solution you need to develop, and the audience the solution is for. Now you may be struggling with a problem to solve. I believe it's much easier to identify problems in areas that you're interested in or familiar with. Or you simply build a solution for a problem you currently face and chances are if you're facing this problem, others are too. From here, you can focus on building a version of your app that is simple, which means implementing the bare bone features needed to solve the problem. Enjoyable, making people enjoy using your product. A good UI and UX is very important. We'll touch on this later. And very importantly, complete. Ship something that is usable at launch instead of a half complete product. A big problem that you need to avoid is language and framework hopping. People often search for the best programming languages to use when building. The reality is, there isn't one. Pick the language that is capable of building your product. Stick with it and avoid hopping to the next shiny new language you come across. Do this and over time your skills will compound and building literally anything will become way less daunting and way easier. Now most people can feel lost on how to start building their product. But it's actually very easy now with the creation of many tools that will accelerate this journey. Firstly, you need to lock in your tech stack. You can learn the basics of any language using Code Academy. I highly recommend their courses to pick up the basics of languages quickly. This is personally what I did at the beginning of my journey as well. Once you do that, you can generate a roadmap to take you from nothing to a fully functioning application ready to be launched. For this, I would fully describe my idea to ChatGBT, specifically the O1 model, and it will give you a breakdown of how you can build your product in your chosen languages. For coding, you can use ChatGBT or Claude to assist you with your coding. This will dramatically speed up your development process. There are a ton of tools out there that can help you build your products quicker and better. VO is a great example of this. You can generate a high quality UI with a single prompt that you can import straight into your project. This is especially useful if you're not great at creating user interfaces or you want to move quickly. Now, most people do use Visual Studio Code because that is a staple in the coding community, but you can take it a step further and use Cursor. It has AI integrated into the code editor, making AI implementations much quicker and easier to do. I personally use this a ton when developing purely because of how intuitive it is and thousands of other people are doing the same. Personally, when I'm coding apps, I use Cloud 3.5 Sonnet for coding and O1 for idea mapping and visualization. Now you need a way to collect payments for your product. The go-to solution for this is Stripe. Stripe is a payment solution that allows you to process online payments, send payouts, and automate all financial responsibilities. Setting up Stripe is very easy and their documentation is very well made. Now that you've integrated payments into your app, it's time to ship it to the public. For web apps, I'd recommend Vercel or Coolify to deploy your projects very easily. For mobile applications, you can publish them in the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. For Chrome extensions, you can publish them on any browser extension store like Edge, Firefox add-ons, Chrome web store, which are the main platforms. Once your app is published, you're ready to attract customers and start making money. All you need to do to make your app go viral is the following. Firstly, you need to solve a problem, document how your current users are benefiting from using your solution, and market your app using those success stories. You can take the success stories and implement them into your landing page to convert more customers. You can use those success stories for paying marketing to scale your revenue, and if you don't want to spend money on advertising, you can start making content advertising your product. This will allow you to go viral and drive eternal sales organic without having to spend a penny on advertising. You can post on social media platforms like X, 
TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, and online forums. The important part is to make your post seem organic. Lean into the fact that you're building a product and avoid being too salesy. Do this correctly and your posts will go viral. Congratulations, you now have paying users for your application, but most people struggle to improve and grow their product. The key is feedback from existing users. This feedback will allow you to improve and refine your product over time, leading to a more polished and overall better product. The best way to do this that many people are currently adopting is through an in-app feedback submission system, or even better, start a community for your product. Engage with your users, learn what can be improved based on their experiences, and use that to improve your product. With continuous improvements and a community, you can double down and expand the functionality of your app. In some cases, you can even create more apps based on new problems you identify from your experience. A great example of this is Mark. He ran multiple indie startups and realized Stripe invoices are a hassle to generate and also costly. So he created Zenvoice, an easy solution to his problem which has generated thousands of dollars since its inception. The best part of this journey is that you do it on your own terms. You decide what's the best thing to focus on and what should be done to grow your app. If you do what I mentioned in this video correctly, not only are you going to build a great app and go viral, you're going to make a ton of money. But if you want more help with this, I've just created a free Discord for founders where I'm going to be posting all the insights on running my multiple apps, how I did that, how you can do that as well. And I've just posted an exclusive video in the Discord. So go check it out and good luck.